So you know only 5 out of 4 people admit they're bad at fractions. Wait, 4 out of 5. Long day. Perfect! So my last official pickup from last year, and even though it's way overdue, I still had to get them on the channel. On today's episodes, we are reviewing the Nike Air Max 1 Ugly Duckling Honeydew. So yes, this amazing colorway to this amazing iconic shoe did drop last year in December. Now these did drop with another colorway to the pack, the Pecan. And if you haven't watched that review by now, I will link it down below. But I did get that pair in very, very early. I knew they were going to sit, but at the same time, I wanted to get some early content for you. And if you are interested in any of the colorways, I will leave some purchase links down below as well. Now we will compare the two colorways in a little bit, but before that, let's have a look at the box. Now yes, I was hoping and praying for something special it being dubbed the ugly duckling pack and something different from the air max one but even though i was as disappointed as a spurs fan i wasn't really expecting anything less being a nike gr pair and all it does come with that standard red nike box but one good thing we do actually get black laces with this pair and i'm not too sure i'd swap out but let me know down below if you would on the product sticker it does say though nike air max one premium and the official colorway is anthracite's honeydew and black so when i first saw leaked images to both of these colorways to this pack i was like yep that's a bit of me that is now even though the ugly duckling pack from the nike dunks is sort of inspiring these two pairs only the honeydew is technically inspired by an og colorway it's not a one for one but there is heavy inspiration from the nike dunk ceramics and that's one of the best colorways on any nike dunk in my opinion the pecan colorway though is inspired by the nike dunk dusty olive which technically wasn't even in the ugly duckling pack but for me potato potato tomato tomato i'm not going to complain because they definitely look good now, the drop has happened already but if you're holding out for the sales you might just be thinking about how these fit and retailing at 145 pound here in the uk is defo something worth thinking about yes the suede pairs to the air max one normally do have a little bit more room but i would say still go true to size now when an air max one looks this good of course we have to take an up close and personal look now judging from the pictures broskies i Defo liked the Pecan colorway so much more than this pair, but getting them both in hands, this one has grown in me so much more. And when I first showed someone I know that isn't even into sneakers at all, they called it the Jaffa Cake Air Max 1 and I just can't unsee it. There's just something about that orange and black and of course the greys and even that sort of green as well. We do have suede slapped all over this Air Max 1 and I'm very glad they did it this way. Yes, it might be harder to maintain the panels and keep them clean, but they do look super cool. Personally, I'm not even sure what I would change about the shoe. For me though, the green Nike swooshes alongside that orange mud guard is creme de la creme. Now moving on to the laces though, I have stayed with the green laces. I just think it gives it that extra pop. I know some people that have swapped them out for different colors and even the black pair that it comes with, but for me, it just works so well. We do have that black nylon tongue though with the orange Nike Air Max brand in there. Now giving this sneaker an extra little bit of pop, we do have that orange sock liner. Having this great insole here too with the Nike Air branding in that sort of green. Now one of the panels you're either really gonna like or you're not gonna like it one bit, but we do have that duck towards the back. Of course, the ugly duckling pack had to have something to signify the name, but I'm not mad at it one bit. Very similar to what the Air Max 1 Casino did, but for me this is a little bit more subtle and it defo works well. But moving our way to the midsole, it is very traditional in terms of that white colorway. And then that mint green does return here in the air unit, which does also feature on the outsole here, but it has that sort of speckling that we did see on the dirty denims. And I do actually like that touch. Right broskies, moving on now to that part of the video where I decide whether these are a buy 
or a buy. Now before we touch on reasons why I think this is a future classic, let's just compare the two different colorways. Having these both side by side in hand, I have to say the Honeydews just have that edge. The Pecans are super fire and in my opinion, they might be a little bit more wearable. But there's just something about this Honeydew colorway and I might be a little bit biased because I love orange on a shoe. But it's just got that extra pop of color and it's definitely going to be turning heads when you're wearing them. But comment down below broskies, what's your favorite out of this pack? But moving on to the topic at hand, whether this actual silhouette is a buy or a buy is pretty much a given because this is my personal pair. Now I do have to mention how bad the QC is to this pack. Honestly, this is like my second or third pair that I actually kept. The first two I had to send back just because of the glue stains and the uneven panels. Just when I think Nike's QC was slightly getting better, they pull a stunt like this. But you know what? We thank God we got a nice pair. And I'm not the only one. I've seen some people with similar issues. But with that all aside, I have no complaints with this Nike Air Max One. It's an absolute future classic in my opinion. A very unique colorway to a very unique pack. Yes, being inspired by those Nike Dunks, they still put their own spin on it. And I'm glad because this is the perfect example when a colorway works on a different shoe to another. Overall broskies, it is indeed an absolute buy. But now's your time to comment down below and let me know what you think. Did you cop on release? Are you waiting for the sales? Or was this an absolute miss? Leave it all down below and I will pin the best comments. Anyways, broskies, I'm gonna love you and leave you there. Don't forget to hit me up on Instagram if you have any questions and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share. And till the next episode, take care.